Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for a new Databricks video. Today we are going to continue with DBT, but this time we are going to focus on CICD, continuous integration and continuous delivery, and how to deploy to different environments. For this purpose, we are going to use DBT Cloud. DBT Cloud is a web-based platform of DBT which provides a nice user interface to run dbt commands and also provides a smooth integration with github. If you know dbt core and you've seen our previous video about dbt, you can use dbt cloud with no issues whatsoever. So in this tutorial we will see how to integrate our dbt project with github and how to deploy to dev, prod and different environments. So, let's get down to business. Okay guys, so here is the official website of GetDBT, of DBT Labs. You click on Try DBT and here you have to sign up. It's free for developers, so don't worry about cost. You can play around freely. So let's say that you have already done that. The first thing that you will see when you log in is here this screen where it says to set up a new project. Let's call the project dbt, dbt demo for example. Then you click on continue. You set up your project right on dbt cloud. Nothing, it's about configuration. Like we did on uh, dbt core using VS code. Here you have to provide a connection to your development environment. Now here, as you can see, I have a Databricks free edition workspace. And let's see, let's say that this environment here is for, is considered dev. This Databricks uh, environment here is considered dev. And here I have another Databricks workspace free edition again. So two different Databricks environments and this one would be considered prod, right? So you have dev and prod like you have in real life. And let's actually create a connection with this Databricks workspace, which is the dev one. So here you will see um, if you click on connection, you have to click on add new connection. And you have to create a connection to the Databricks dev environment. As you can see, there are many inter integration tools for Snowflake, PostgreSQL, SQL, BigQuery, Redshift, etc. and Databricks. So click on Databricks connection. Let's call it Databricks dev. And then here you have to provide the server hostname. Let's go back to our compute in your dev workspace. Click on serverless starter uh, warehouse here you have the server host name so go back here provide that and then you want the http path also provide that and optional settings you have to provide the catalog which is workspace here we have right here we have only workspace and then you click on save this is the connection for Databricks dev environment. Let's go click on connections and let's create a new connection to the prod environment. So again, same thing, connection prod, right? Server host name. Now you go into your compute on your prod environment. Again, same process, connection details of the serverless starter warehouse. Copy that, server host name http path right and then in the optional settings select the workspace catalog click on save and now we have two connections right if you go into connections we have databricks dev databricks prod back to our first screen where it says configure your development environment you select databricks dev the connection that we uh, just created for the dev environment and here you have to provide the token. So if you go back into your compute connection details, you can click on dbt, generate new token and here copy that and paste it here. And then for the schema, let's call it dbt demo, right? 
tag a name default threads five or whatever you want and then click on test connection let's see if we can connect uh, with the dev environment so all good here click on save we can access the dev environment so the next step is the integration with github uh, you can use gitlab manage git clone let's use github and here you have to connect to your repository and your github account so there is a connection between your github and your github account and your and dbt right so let's go here let's create a new simple repo right click on here dbt cloud for example right and create a repository and now here back to your dbt console you will see you can search for your repository so click on your repository that you want to yeah, put push your project and then click on start developing in the studio because your project is ready so here the first thing we have to do is to initialize the project right let it let it uh, load and here where it says initialize dbt project click on that and on the main branch you will see it will create all these files it will be you know the typical uh, my first dbt model etc etc that when you initialize a dbt project you get those uh, this example and let's create our first commit to the main branch first commit right commit changes and here now if we refresh on our github page you will see all these things on the main branch now we have you know we have uh, created our main branch we have pushed the ghost to github all good so far now if you run you want to run this model for example in this uh, default example they provide in dbt you can use this build command here this uh, actually select this arrow and then you can build the model you can run the model whatever you want or you can type it here manually so let's type dbt run okay so it's going to run our our command here and we are running first model and the second model right excellent so if we go back to our database workspace and here refresh you will see the first model and the second model and all these cool things so whatever because we have connected our project with the default dev workspace whatever we run here so whatever model we if we use dbt run command it will push it to our dev environment now it prevents you after the first commit dbt prevents you from pushing to the main branch again because the main branch can be used only for let's say deployments to prod environment so it's a uh, it, it's good practice right to create a new branch when you develop stuff and then merge it to the main branch where the main branch will be pushed to production correct let's create a new branch let's uh, create uh, a new branch here call it test for example now we are on the test branch let's uh, change something here let's say this would be two and this would be a view right click on save and now we commit to the test branch let's commit here 
test whatever and then you can create a pull request on github now before we do that let's say when we merge our dev our you know uh, development branch to the main branch sometimes we want automatically to deploy to the to staging to prod or whatever so how can you do that go back to orchestration here click on jobs right actually let's see if we have two environments here under environments we have dev we have to create a new environment for prod so click on create environment prod environment right the type here is deployment and we run only on the main branch uh, and the dpd version of the latest then you select the connection which is databricks prod so we are targeting the prod workspace now here we need the token so let's go back to prod workspace generate a new token copy that paste it here and schema dbt demo right i think this is the schema we provided in uh, dbt demo yeah in dev as well so here we test the connection let's wait we test the connection so now we click on save and as you will see here under environments we have two environments one is development one is prod and prod only runs on uh, the main branch so we can only deploy the main branch to the prod environment so first thing we want is connections to databricks environments the second thing we want is to create environments based on the connections we have and the last thing is to create a job so let's create the job click on here and click on merge job so whenever we merge a pull request to the main branch it will trigger automatically to deploy to prod so job name deploy to prod right i have already done that so environment prod environment right and here run on merge and instead of dbt build let's run the command dbt run here you can add as many commands you want dbt build dbt seed whatever you want you don't need to run dbt dbt seed or oh, but you don't need to run dbc depths for dependencies because it automatically when we deploy to different environments dbt runs dbt tabs to install all the dependencies so for now we run the dbt run uh, command here only you can compare changes against the you know uh, the environment for now we use no deferral and here in the advanced settings okay everything is good so we click on save right and we have under jobs now you will see that we have this job this has not yet run it's not scheduled it will run once we merge the pull request so back to the studio here actually and remember we created the test branch now let's create a pull request create a pull request here with the changes you can add reviewers as well create pull request to the main branch and merge the pull request confirm merge and once we do, we do that then we can go back to our jobs here and see you can see this is, is triggered so you can see the run here open that and see the steps 
we create a profile from Connection Data Bricks Prod, so we, we target the prod environment. Here it, it runs dbt depths for the dependencies by default without adding this uh, command when we deploy to different environments. Give it a second. It also runs the dbt run uh, with a warning here, but everything runs successfully as you can see. Now if you go into your Databricks prod environment, if you go into catalog, you will see the dbt demo with uh, the models that we run with the sample data etc etc here we have the sample data and the models so in a nutshell this is the whole process you can play around with the configuration and you can uh, run a scheduler to deploy to prod or to different environments so the first thing that you have to do there are three steps here once you have your dbt project and you have boosted to your github repo the uh, you have actually go into your profile and click on connections you have to create a connection for dev or for prod or uh, for whatever you know databricks workspace you want and then you want to actually create the environments by default when you create a dev connection it creates a development environment here if you click on that click on settings and here you can see the environment type is development and not deployment you can click on edit and then the latest version here you can add a default uh, default to a custom branch databricks dev connection all these kind of things right and then you, we have the prod environment as well here you can click on settings and you can edit it right so here basically you have to click on the production environment you can use staging as well click on save and pretty much that's it so you can have the general one which points to the dev environment then you can have another environment for staging and another environment for production that's uh, the whole process i think and here on the studio you can play around with your dbt project it is exactly the same as dbt core you can run the same um, here we push to main so we pull from main again to get the latest changes and play around with uh, these uh, commands here or type your command manually you can compile the code etc etc all these cool things so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new you learned more about dbt cloud and how to deploy to different environments and integrate your dbt project with github if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.